did Rasulullah do? How did he liberate those people and get them to love Islam, get them to see the beauty of Islam in a way in which allowed them to not have the insecurities that they had? One of the first things that Rasulullah did when he came to Medina was establish something known as the Medina Constitution. Constitution of Medina. Now here I ask you in your own time, go and read this document. It is the shining archetype of all agreements in the history of the world as to how the world should be. When you see here today the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, so many of the articles that we espouse today were started by Rasulullah 1400 years ago, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is a 37 point document available to you in English. Just go and Google it, the Constitution of Medina. Now, in this, there are several articles that are so important to understand the way Rasulullah liberated the Medinan community and to then juxtapose that with the awaited savior of humanity. The first point in the article is the most beautiful, profound thing one could ever read from the hand of Rasulullah. Article 1 underscores this entire agreement between the Muslims and the parties it wishes to govern within Medina, this plural society. He says, all who sign up to this agreement are considered part of one Ummah. That is profound. You see here, because our language, the way we have been growing up or taught to think, is by dividing people, not uniting people. We have a Shia Ummah, which means we are exclusivist. We have a Muslim Ummah, which means we are exclusivist. Yes, at one level we do. At another level, we have humanity, which we are thinking about. Mankind were of one people, they were one kind. It was when guidance came and humans manipulated guidance when people began to be divided. We're actually one people. And if we think like that, we'll begin to think the way Rasulullah thought. We are one human body of seven and a half billion people. We want to treat each other in that light.